Hello everybody, I'm going to do an unboxing of the new Virgin Mobile uh, LG Optimus Elite. And I have not opened it yet, but I did just cut the back. Um, here you can see we've got the phone. And I'll tell you a little bit about the phone. Um, it has a 3.5 inch uh, touch screen. It is an LCD touch screen uh, 320 by 480 pixels. Um, it has a 5 megapixel camera and just a 480p camcorder, so not HD. Um, it does have an LED flash and autofocus with the camera. Um, it also supports Wi-Fi, BG, and N. Um, it has a 1520 milliamp hour battery if the, uh, if the internet is right about that. But we'll check that out. Um, this phone runs Android 2.3.7 Gingerbread, so not the newest ice cream sandwich, but um, not bad either. Be probably the second newest, maybe. <laughs> uh, okay, let's get this out. Um, also, this phone actually has 4 gigabytes of internal memory, which is nice because, for example, my Optimus V only has about 130 uh, megabytes. So big improvement there. Um, 512 megabytes of RAM. This device it's actually pretty thin and nice feeling in the hand. Um, it does feel light though I don't have the battery in yet so I guess that would make a difference. Um, 3.5 inch screen like I said so a bit bigger than some of the past phones. Let's see what's in the box. You get the manual. The basics guide actually. Um, a bag to recycle your old phone in. That's very good. They're starting to include those. And you've got the battery. Let's open it up and see what we've got for size on this thing. Yep, 1520 milliamp hours. Good. And then of course we've got the standard USB charger and a wall plug so that's what we've got in the box and let's put in the battery and start this phone up uh, let's see I'm gonna try to take off the cover here there we go so I hope the battery life is alright on this phone <clears throat> hmm here we've got do not scratch or damage this area as NFC antenna inside. That's cool. One thing I must say about this uh, this phone is that it supports uh, NFC, which is near field communication, which is used to make payments directly from your phone with Google Wallet, which is included on this phone. And essentially in the future, maybe there will be um, little chips inside different things and when you hold your phone up to it it communicates with it and gets whatever data's on it so it's an interesting feature I'll uh, you'll hear more about it in the review for sure um, that is actually a highlight of this phone um, it also has Bluetooth 3.0 which is a newer version um, let's see did I miss anything 800 megahertz processor so not as good as the Triumph, not as bad as the Optimus V. Um, and like I said, 3.5 inch touch screens. So, let's check this out. Yeah, it feels really smooth. That's nice. It's always nice when they uh, feel good when you get them right out of the box. Because otherwise, uh, just know it's not going to be a very fun week with this phone. So, um, as you can see, yeah, that's... There is no front-facing camera, um, nothing super high-end, but uh, let's see here. We'll just take a quick look at the messaging, and then we'll sign off, and I will get you a review by next week or so. Here you can see, yeah, it is swipe. Looks like a newer version, um, and you can go in landscape, of course. Um, let's see what else we've got. We have just the Android keyboard, but of course you can download stuff from the market. So, very nice. I'm used to a 3.2 inch screen. 
Uh, so that is nice. Um, there are actually going to be some high-end phones coming out starting May 29th when the uh, the uh, HTC One V comes out, and that's actually gonna that should be a really nice phone. So if you're in the market for something a little better, that's going to be $300 on May 19th. And here you can see, got the camera and LED flash. Alright, well, I'll be back with a review sometime next week.